In this tutorial, we're going to look into how we're going to implement Bootstrap in our Angular 6 project. So once you do that, you will have a nav bar with some links. We'll be looking primarily on the drop down menu. So when you click on it, uh, your drop down menu opens up and then toggles. So this is pretty much what we're going to look into this session. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new project called Engineer Angular 6 Bootstrap. For at the time of recording, Bootstrap is at the fourth version and the Angular is at the sixth version. Once that installed, we'll go into the Angular 6 Bootstrap 4 project and then um, open up our VS Code. Let's start our project as well. So ng serve will get your project compiled and uh, make it ready for the uh, for you to look into the browser. So once that's done, it will be running in localhost 4200. So let's go ahead and keep that ready. Bingo. So we have our new project up and running. Um, okay, before starting up, uh, one of the most common library that is used today is Bootstrap. Now, if you don't know what Bootstrap is, don't worry. A Bootstrap is basically a CSS library that gives your application a modern look and feel, along with consistency in various browsers. You can get more information about Bootstrap by visiting getbootstrap.com. There you will have uh, some documentation of how to get started and examples uh, of what what sort of a template you need, right? So I'll I'll keep this open because we'll be using it in in our tutorial. Okay, let's go uh, go ahead and add Bootstrap in Angular application. Okay, so to do that in our VS Code, let's open up our terminal which is Control and tilde that will open up our terminal over here and give a command called npm install bootstrap and we need to add an, one more optional parameter or flag called save. The npm will download the bootstrap and also uh, install it into your local machine in your node modules and save will uh, the save flag will add your bootstrap as a dependency in package JSON which you will see that after the installation. We got bootstrap 413 which is excellent. Now let's go to the package JSON and see what happened. If you look closely we have an entry for bootstrap in here okay so and if you look close enough you will have a character called caret. Uh, that also added in our versioning uh, with the bootstrap. What does this number means and what is it character character means? This number means it's a major dot minor dot patch and the character the charac means you could go up to 4.1 4 to up to 4.9 so you can use um, all the version that depends on version 4 major version of uh, 4 with the bootstrap okay and one more advantage is when you have an entry in package JSON, this will ensure you that when you share your source code to someone else in your team, your team member don't necessarily have to install individual libraries. All they can do is go to the terminal and into the project folder and give npm install in command line inside the project directory of course. Now npm will look for package JSON first thing first and downloads all the dependencies onto your local machine or your workspace. So just an npm install is fair enough to include, to download all the dependencies that's listed here into the node modules. Next, we need to import bootstrap style sheet into our style CSS. Let's go to the style CSS, which is inside source directory and then style.css, right. In the style CSS, we're gonna use CSS import statements. So, at import and bootstrap. So, actually, we need to add the path to bootstrap CSS that is related to node module. That's why we are using um, this tilde. And then, okay, let me show you where it is. This tilde is a relative to node modules, and we are calling up the bootstrap. And there's a typo there. So, the bootstrap is over here, somewhere here, and then the dist. CSS and bootstrap.css. So it should be bootstrap dist slash CSS forward slash and bootstrap.css. So this is pretty much all we need to add our styling to our application. Now let's head over to the bootstrap examples. Now we need to pick 
one of the uh, templates one of the starter template or oh, right if you write over here what you've seen and then we're going to use this one in our application it's quite simple just go to the page source we don't need everything here because all we uh, we already have everything here uh, whatever you see here is in the angular project so all we need is just the nav bar and the main container so i'm going to copy this up and go ahead to the app component html i'm going to get rid of this as well and paste it over here so if you notice we have main container and now now bar container so two separate containers available so once you do that let's see okay we got our nav bar and the drop down which is obviously obviously won't work um, one thing you notice is uh, our main content is under the nav bar so we need to fix that up it's quite easy what we need to do is go to the style css define a we need to do a padding top so define a body and apply padding top of uh, roughly around 80 pixel let's just see yeah it works perfectly well okay so so far we have added a bootstrap into our angular application so we have we just used the styling but we haven't used the behavior such as we we didn't use the drop down we we need to add some behavior to our bootstrap nav bar in fact this will be helpful if you're going to add behavior for the for the rest of the components like model and pop-up things like that whatever that's available in bootstrap okay this is just 10 percent of what we have done it's basically we have a nav bar inside a component in a real world application everything will be uh, collaborated inside a component so the the main container will be somewhere else somewhere defined in some other container component and the nav bar will be defined in somewhere else so what we need to do is we need to create a separate component for our nav bar just for the nav bar okay so we're not going to concentrate much on the main main container as of now too much confusing right so in our terminal we need to create a new component called nggc main nav bar right what this will do is it will create a new component called nav bar and it will be immediately available in our app folder so once that's done we need to move this nav bar inside uh, the app component into our main nav bar component template which is right over here so i'm going to copy that and paste it over here let's see what's what happened so we just made our nav bar disappear uh, but we need to bring it back okay now one more thing is um, let me extend this so we can see our file names let me go to the main network component ts there you will see angular by default will apply a selector called app dash personally i don't like this because i prefer to have a customized html element as a selector so we will be simply using main navbar which is more kind of more readable instead of having app uh, and it's a bit too noisy in our template so this main navbar we we need to tell our uh, we need to apply this somewhere in our in our angular project it's quite simple let's head over to app component uh, we need to go to the place where the previous navbar was held so we need to create a main navbar element over here so that our main navbar compo main navbar component ts will select select the element over here and then it will wrap it will it will display your navbar like so now we got everything working we need to get this drop down working as well so before moving further the drop downs are available in um is right over here so this is the drop down that we are talking about it is inside a list item if you notice it is inside a list item which is named as a drop down and we have an anchor tag anchor element with a class called drop down toggle and a division tag called as drop down menu and, uh, and set of links which is a drop down item so what i'll do is i'll turn this into href hash because i don't like this redirecting so let's just stay like this and if you notice one more thing the drop down toggles hide or show happening with the help of a helper class called show 
if you apply this you will instantly notice your drop down showing up okay but obviously we need a programmatic way to show this okay it should be dynamic so to get this working bootstrap as a javascript library that listens to this click event based on the click this drop down will hide or show right immediately there is a problem we don't want to add this javascript library because it is a jquery library okay and bootstrap heavily depends on Java, jquery library uh, to do some DOM, dom manipulation okay and another thing is we need to avoid jquery at any cost the reason for this is very simple angular manages and takes care of dom operations throughout your angular project jquery manipulates the dom directly whereas angular adds an abstraction uh, over your dom hence angular doesn't manipulate your dom or modify your dom directly okay to solve this there is a library called ng bootstrap we open up here g bootstrap ng bootstrap github dot io so if you go over to ng bootstrap dot github dot io uh, you will see various components that are available here for example we need a component for drop down if we go to drop down you will see drop down available for uh, sorry you will see a directive available for a toggle drop down you can always look at the source code for reference and um, we can make use of this so um, if you notice okay there is a ngb drop down and ngb drop down menu and ngb drop down toggle so there are three directives that makes use of this drop down action so we need to keep keep in mind about this and anyway we have this as an example so you don't need to worry much about that now let's open up the terminal okay before that we need to install this ng bootstrap library so let's get over to our terminal and then npm installation npm install iphone iphone save that will save flag will put this in your package json file now npm install at ng bootstrap slash ng and bootstrap right after the installation you can just go go ahead to the app module ts and we need to in, we need to include this we need to import our ngb module in our app module so it should be ngb module from ng let me just grab this it'll be quite easier once you've done that we need to include import this inside our ng module so for root uh, obviously it should be coming the browser module should always be at the top and then the rest of the module should be following the browser module okay in the import survey we have this ngb module and finally go back to our template which is a main we need to go back to our template which is main navbar component html like so we have seen in the example over here we need to add our ngb drop down to our parent class parent li class like this and then we need to add the second directive called ngb drop down toggle to our anchor tag which is which activates which basically responsible for toggling our drop down and then finally the third one third directive is ngb drop down menu which is a container that holds our drop down list so once you've done that let's go check our code we have our drop down and it's working perfectly fine and it's working beautiful that's all about adding bootstrap 4 in angular 6 application and also getting a drop down working so that's all about adding bootstrap 4 in angular 6 application we have seen npm install bootstrap and importing our bootstrap into an angular project and adding bootstrap starter template creating a navigation component that isolates from the main um, app component and getting the drop down working and as well as installing and using the ng bootstrap to get our drop down working so that's all that's pretty much about it please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if it is useful for you and thank you so much for watching this tutorial